another day, another Poshmark Q&A. First question. Hey Vanessa, I love watching your videos and every time they pop up, I make it a habit to drop everything and watch. Oh my gosh, thank you. Pim Pimpsis Maya. <laughs> Pimpsis Maya, that's your name. Uh, okay, I need some advice. I want to ask you if you ever feel drained or feel the need to take a day or two day break from Poshmark with all the new shipping fees, slow sales, and just how much time Poshmark really takes on a daily basis. Do you ever feel like you want to quit it? Whenever I feel drained or if I'm having a bad day, I like to just remind myself, I think I saw this like as a quote or something or a meme or something, um, that it's not a bad life. It's just a bad day or a bad couple of days or a bad week. It's not a bad life. Reselling is a roller coaster. There's gonna be ups and downs and you just gotta learn to ride it. And although I don't like roller coasters, I like reselling. So I ride the roller coaster. And again, I do feel drained sometimes. I do get frustrated and discouraged and I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. But I've never gotten to the point where I've been like, I don't wanna do this anymore. Because I remind myself, you know, it is, it's it's a roller coaster. There's gonna be ups and downs. This is just a bad day, couple of days, week, whatever. It's not always gonna be like this. Um, that's kind of my motto with everything. Like whenever something is going wrong, it's like it's not always gonna be like this. Like with my kids, I I always cry when I say this in videos about like if you go into our living room right now, it's a mess. There's toys everywhere. Um, but it's not always gonna be like this. You know, I'm not always gonna be changing diapers. I'm not always gonna be listening to three toddlers and an infant <laughs> scream at the same time. That's kind of my motto with everything um, when I do feel drained and discouraged, and it does happen. It does happen. If it, you say it doesn't happen, you're lying because everyone has bad days, with reselling especially. I love reselling so much, I, I the thought has never honestly crossed my mind. Um, I have taken breaks though. Yeah, I've taken like a day or two off, but I've never been like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this anymore. Like that hasn't, that hasn't happened. Next question. Hey, quick Poshmark question. When you list anthropology brands, like Pilkrow, AG, Sanctuary, Joe's Jeans, Citizens of Humanity, etc. I didn't know AG was an anthropology brand. Is it? Um, anyway, it says, do you list them under their own brand or under anthropology? Thank you. You're the best Poshmark YouTuber in the... What's that? Sound like an <laughs> animal, but no, nope, it's just one of my toddlers. Uh, you're the best Poshmark YouTuber in the game. Every piece of advice you have given me has worked because I've tried it all blessed. Oh, thank you, Marissa. No, I don't list them. Well, it really depends on the brand. So Pilker on the letterpress, I'll put like Anthro, Pilker on the letterpress. Um, I mean, yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Again, it depends on the brand. If I feel like it's like a lesser known anthropology brand, then I'll put anthropology, but I'll also put the like, sub brand or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Next question. If you get a PO box, will Poshmark mail your purchases to it? I think I might get one just to have my address off the label. So yes, yes, they do. Um, Poshmark for sure will. You might run into uh, problems if you use Macari because UPS and FedEx do not ship to PO boxes. Um, but Poshmark is just USPS, so Poshmark will for sure ship to a PO box. I always recommend people get PO boxes just because, I don't know, privacy and shit, and I just feel a lot more comfortable giving out my PO box than my address. Okay, next question. I just received one rating, a one star rating, from a buyer for a medium sweater they bought. The reason, they said it was not as described. They got the new tag medium sweater they ordered, but said it was way too small. This doesn't seem right to me to get such a low rating when I sent her exactly what she purchased in a brand in brand new condition. Has this ever happened to you? Yes. And honestly, I don't worry about ratings. I don't. It does suck when somebody rates you one star, two stars for something that isn't your fault. Like you said, you sent her exactly what she ordered. It was a medium uh, sweater. And maybe it was a brand where the sizes were different and it didn't fit her. That's not your fault. Unfortunately, she's rating you on it, which again, isn't fair. I don't worry about ratings since there's a headache I don't want to have to deal with because like in your situation, you did everything right, but you still got a shitty rating. So, you know, the fact that you knew you did everything right and this person still rated you a one star, like don't worry about that because it wasn't your fault at all. I don't worry about ratings because they really don't mean much. You know, as long as you're doing things right, you know, you're selling what you say you're selling in the listing and you're providing good customer service, that's really all that matters. Ratings really don't matter. Okay, next question. Hey, Vanessa, me again. Oh, actually, you just bought a bundle from me today, Compassion Fruit. I don't know your 
first name. I could look on the label. Um, but yeah, you just bought a bundle for me today, so thank you. All those items that you purchased, I sourced over the weekend, so those were fast flips, so thank you. Um, I mailed them out today, by the way, the same day you ordered them. Just throwing that out there. Uh, okay, hey Vanessa, me again. Congratulations on the baby. He's so beautiful and perfect. Thank you. I know. I know he is. I know. I was wondering if you can make a tips video. I'm trying to take pictures of some maxi dresses I have. Even on square mode, it's hard to get the full dress. Also, tips for cleaning shoes. I hate cleaning shoes. I don't want to do the work. I think it's gross and just yuck. Any tips on how to make that easier? Right now, I'm still selling clothes from my own closet and family and friends, so most of the shoes are my shoes, but still, I can't help what I hate. Tips, please. Thanks for the constant help and guidance. My Poshmark closet is Compassion Fruit. I will link her Poshmark closet down below. Okay, so to answer your question, um, or multiple questions, Taking pictures in maxi dresses, yeah, uh, e, uh, uh. I don't sell too many dresses, um, so what I would do is, um, are you taking them, like, are you hanging them, are you doing it on a mannequin? I would try to, like, back up as far as you can go, <laughs> um, because it's in square mode, so yeah, it is a little tricky to get, like, something that's longer, so yeah, I would back up as far as you can get from wherever you're putting the dress. Um, your other question, shoes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm with you. I hate cleaning shoes too. My husband sells majority of shoes in his closet and that shit just grosses me out too. Like I don't want to clean shoes. It's gross. Um, if I do clean shoes, I mean, I have purchased shoes and I do sell some shoes, but when I clean them, I use gloves and my husband has all kinds of like tools and shit that he uses. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I would I would wear gloves. <laughs> that makes me feel more protected, although it still does gross me out. Um, you know, because, like, sometimes you gotta, like, freaking scrub the bottom. You know, you can look at the bottom of a shoe and be like, oh, is this dirt or is this dog shit? Like, uh, you don't know. You don't know unless you smell it. And yeah. Gross. Yeah, shoes are gross. Um, I think I'd be less grossed out if they were my own, just because I know how much of a germaphobe I am, and I try to keep my shoes really clean to begin with. Um, but yeah, ugh, I don't know. That's really all the tips I have wear gloves and use tools and yeah, wear a mask if they're smelly or don't buy them if they're smelly. Yeah, my husband always does like the smell test. That's all I got for you, girl. Last question, I think, because this is kind of long. Uh, you might not have time to check on this, but have you ever liked an item, but the liker's last active date was weeks or months ago? So yes, I have had that happen. And all I can think of is that they are using a bot uh, I don't know. It's, it's very strange. That's really the only thing that makes sense to me. I don't know if any of you guys have any thoughts on that. Comment down below. That's, again, the only thing that makes sense to me. But that is it for this video. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below. Send me a DM on Instagram or tweet me on Twitter. Nobody uses Twitter anymore, and it's sad because... I love Twitter, and I say that in every video. If you are new to Poshmark and you want to sign up, you can use my code. It is keeping it rad. You get a $10 credit, and I also get a $10 credit, so thank you. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.